Good morning. We've made it to the end of another week. I'm glad that you um, are able to make some time to spend with me that we can spend with God. Let's worship. Oh Lord, open our lips and we shall declare your praise. Would you sing with me? Eternal God, our beginning and our end, be our starting point and our haven and accompany us on this day's journey. Use our hands to do the work of your creation and use our lives to bring others the new life you give this world in Jesus Christ, Redeemer of all. Amen. Today we are picking up right where we left off yesterday in Philippians. Chapter 2. Um, and this time we're starting in verse 12 and going through verse 18. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and arguing, so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine like stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you and in the same way, you must also be glad and rejoice with me. The second hymn for today is awesome. It's in the Methodist supplement, uh, The Faith We Sing. And it is an African-American spiritual, and it's one that I haven't really sung much in church. 
um, which is a shame because it's really easy and really great. So it might be new to you today, and if it is, listen to the first one, but I guarantee, mostly guarantee, nearly guarantee, that um, after the first verse, you're gonna know it well enough to join me for the rest of them. So, let's sing. Eternal God, we praise you for your mighty love given in Christ's sacrifice on the cross and the new life we have received by his resurrection. Especially, we thank you for the presence of Christ in our weakness and suffering. We thank you for the ministry of word and sacrament. We thank you for all who work to help and heal. We thank you for the sacrifices made for our benefit. And we thank you for the opportunities we have for our generous giving. God of grace, let our concern for others reflect Christ's self-giving love, not only in our prayers, but also in our practice. Especially we pray for those subjected to tyranny and oppression. We pray for those who are wounded and injured. We pray for those who face death. We pray for those who may be our enemies. We pray now for the particular concerns on our hearts, we pray for our family and our friends and our community. And we pray, God, that you would hear the concerns that we lift up to you now in this time of silence. God, we love you so much and we pray that you would hear the prayers that we have lifted before you today and we pray that you would give us ears to hear um, what you would have us do this day and the days in the days to come we pray that you would now hear us as we lift up the prayer together that your son jesus taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we close this time of worship and go into the world today, I send you with this blessing. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with you.